Hi, my name is Lynn Bauman, and I'm a teacher here at Cherokee Elementary School. I teach fourth grade, and my team and I have been putting together um, our unit of study on simple machines. It's one that we're very, very proud of, and as we launch this unit, uh, we see the excitement in the children. There's a great deal to learn through this process, and uh, we just, we're very proud of what we've been able to do with this project. Our first investigation centers invite the children to explore the simple machines in their everyday life. They get to play with and see that things that they use that they never really thought about are actually machines in action. Some of the other centers that they explore are ones that deal with um, how forces such as push or pulls affect objects how friction and gravity affect how things move, and really how the energy of motion, whether it's potential or kinetic, is something that they can become familiar with through manipulating some of the things that we have at the centers. A very popular activity that we have ongoing throughout this unit is for the children to explore with their Lego Dacta kits. They get to construct simple and compound machines and for many kids this is a new experience for them because they're so used to having their electronic machines turn on and off that they find it intriguing to be able to actually construct something that works and that's mechanical and not electrical. Another very exciting day is when we connect with the Columbus, Ohio Science Institute and have a real-time video conference with a scientist from Columbus to work on simple machines. During this experience, the children are put on teams and they role play different jobs such as project leader, materials handler, mechanical engineer, or a structural engineer in order to accomplish the tasks that they have to do. Professor Gadgeteer leads the children through a process called reverse engineering where they find out what it is inside some of the gadgets, the toys that they're asked to take apart and for which they've previously done some hypotheses for to see how machines work. Toward the end of the broadcast, Professor Gadgeteer challenges the students to become inventors and invent a new toy and that is something that we do take on a little bit later in the year. One of our historical field trips that we use to connect to the idea of using simple machines in everyday life is one where we go to a lumbering uh, camp called Wolcott Mill and here the children learn that simple machines have been used for many many years and that they do indeed make work easier. They get to learn firsthand how the lumberjacks use can hooks and pike poles and even pulleys to accomplish the jobs that they had to do. Another highlight is our field trip to the Chrysler Museum and it's something that both the children and the parents love. It gives us a chance to tie in the history of the automobile and see how much it has changed over the years. At the museum, the children are put on platform teams and again go through the experience of this time building something, constructing an automobile or some kind of a vehicle, and then sharing it with the group. They find out later from talking to real engineers at Chrysler that this is exactly what real teams go through when they engineer a real automobile. The culminating activity to our unit is when the children are invited to invent a Rube Goldberg invention. And we first spend some time showing the children how those invention processes go and the teacher sits down and actually tries to invent something and shows the children that it doesn't always happen right away. The children then take this idea home and work on an invention. They can get help from their parents. They need to keep track of the time that they spend, which is their labor, and it's part of the human resource, and they need to keep track of the materials that they buy, their capital resources, so that when they come back and present their inventions to us, they also will know how much they need to charge for their project if it were, in fact, to go on the market.
Our Lansing field trip at the end of the year gives us a great chance to once again go over the idea of how simple machines play a huge part in our lives. And I loved this time at the Impressions 5 Museum when I heard one of the kids say to the other when they were trying to pull themselves up with the pulleys, hey, he said, it's not fair, you have the mechanical advantage. <laughs>